Hi, and welcome to the first taping of The Chocolate Chef. I'm your host, The Chocolate Chef. I'll be taking you on a journey throughout cuisine and cooking throughout Florida, the southeastern region, and also cooking and flavors from around the world. Today on The Chocolate Chef, since this is our first taping, we're going to do something kind of simple that we like to eat here. And my family's been eating these things for many, many years. A lot of people don't know about them. They taste really good. And they are, dun dun dun, dun Fiddler Crabs. Now, just for this episode, we're only gonna do a few. These are gonna be like an appetizer uh, that's gonna go with our shrimp and grits today. And I'm gonna basically teach you how to um, fix your Fiddler Crabs. I mean, really, they are good. Now, if you've ever been to Florida and you've gone fishing or to the beach, you've seen these things. It's many of them. Millions. And a lot of people don't think to eat them or, or don't think that they would taste good. But their name tells you that they taste good. They taste like crabs. The thing is that they're small. So how we prepare them is we actually fry them. We deep fry them in a corn uh, meal and they taste really good. You can dip them in your favorite cocktail or tartar sauce. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now what you're gonna need so we can get our batter together is an egg and cornmeal seasoning. Well, this is just basic cornmeal for deep frying. We also have my secret spices. This is the chocolate chef seasoning. Tastes so, so good. Okay, so first let's go ahead. We're going to crack one egg. I like brown eggs. Look kind of chocolate. All right. Then we're going to take that egg. We're gonna beat that in. Alright, now that we have that, it's all good and yoked out. We're gonna take our fiddler crabs, we're gonna take a few of them. We're just gonna pick them up. Our fiddler crabs are right here. We've already got them ready, purged them of all the seawater and trash that was in them. We're gonna dip them in our egg. Just go ahead and put them all in. Okay, like so. Let's get that egg shell out of the way. Oh. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take one cup of our corn uh, mix. We're gonna put that in. Then, we're gonna use our Chocolate Chef seasoning. We're gonna do, so we're gonna do two teaspoons, rather. sorry, two teaspoons. All right. Then what we're gonna do is clean off our whisk, mix it in. When I tell you, this is going to give so much flavor to our filler crab. You're just gonna be like, wow, when you try these yourself. Okay, so now we have our filler crabs in our egg base. Let's get them all yoked up. That makes the uh, corn uh, batter stick to them really well. Just drop them in. Around, get them all good and floured up again. Yeah. It's gonna be great, great. All right. Oops, got a small one trying to run away from us. <laughs> 
And also, I am here in uh, Northeast Florida, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, some of you guys don't know who or what the city of Jacksonville is. You've probably heard this catchphrase before. Duval! That's right, home of the Jaguars. So, that's where we are. We're in Northeast Florida. Okay. Now that we have our fiddlers all battered up, we already had our grease on. It was, uh, we preheated our grease. It's ready uh, for frying. So, let's move over. Move some of this stuff out of the way. Wipe our hands off. Get that more stuff off. Chocolate chef secret spices. I promise you, you're gonna want to know what that is later. All right, here we go. All right, so, okay, our grease is hot and we're ready to start dropping them in, okay? Go ahead and drop a few in. Woo! These things cook really, really fast. And one of the ways you can tell when they're ready, because they actually kind of pop. The shells just poof, pop open, as you just heard. And uh, they fry up really, really well. And they taste so good. The meat in these are just as sweet as blue crab meat that a lot of people eat um, here in Florida. Right. Does not take them long because they are small. Pull them out. Just put them right here. <laughs> I love them. Right. Oh, got a few more right here. Let's go ahead and drop those in. I know a lot of people also use these to fish with. They do make uh, great for a large fish uh, in salt water. But like I said, um, for many years we've been eating these. A lot of people didn't know them for it, but we did. We loved them, especially when I was a kid. So right now, like I said, we're just waiting for the excess water that's on the inside of the crab, and that's why you get the pot to uh, go ahead and come out. Yep, just heard another pop. Love that. I'll give you a fun fact about Jacksonville also. Did you know before the movie industry moved to Hollywood, California, Jacksonville was where most or I'm gonna say at least 90% of your uh, silent pictures were uh, created. Uh, the problem was is that a lot of the church people down here were in the Bible Belt didn't like the sound of sirens going off. So, hey, Hollywood packed up and basically moved to Hollywood. All right, let's get our other ones out. On the roof. In my Let's turn our stove off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let these sit. If you can look down, there you go. These are your fitla crabs. And we eat these, like I said, it's like a little appetizer. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna let these cool, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And we basically, while we took a quick break, we went ahead and we chopped up some parsley, uh, fresh parsley. And we're gonna make a dipping sauce for our uh, filler crabs. So basically, we use two tablespoons of mayo. Okay. And then we use two tablespoons of ketchup. In. All right, and 
then right here, we have one teaspoon of garlic. This is a garlic paste. I like that better. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix that in. Like so. Mix, mix, mix. Gotta get everything in. Like so. Alright. Now we have that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slide those back. We're gonna take our dipping sauce. We're gonna put that on our plate. Drop some of our fresh parsley on. Now, some people would say, uh, it's almost like uh, the show Andrew Zimmer, Bazaar Foods, but it's a crab. So I think it's good. We will also teach you many more things about Florida, many more things about Florida cooking. We will take you through the gamut. We will run, run, run. And we'll have a great time cooking on the chocolate shelf. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.